All in the past. Chris Jenner's post-split relationship with ex-husband Caitlyn Jenner has been a roller coaster of ups and downs, but on the final season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, the pair seemingly put their differences behind them. During the Thursday, April 15, episode of the long-running reality series, the 65-year-old momager received a concerned call from Sophia Hutchins, a close friend of the 71-year-old Olympian. With the coronavirus pandemic causing major shutdowns across the country, Caitlin's options for public speaking gigs are limited. However, when asked for advice, Chris admitted she isn't sure she wants to go down this road. Kim Kardashian reflected on her mom's history with Caitlin, telling cameras, I think my mom is just super traumatized inside and that's okay. Her experience is her experience and we all have to be there for her and there's no time limit that can be put on her for her to feel completely comfortable again. In another confessional interview, Kourtney Kardashian explained that things have been kind of rocky between Chris and Caitlyn since their divorce went into effect in March 2015. One month later, the I Am Kate alum publicly came out as trans during a bombshell interview with Diane Sawyer. Caitlin detailed her journey further in Vanity Fair's July 2015 cover story. The former couple were married for more than 20 years and share daughters Kendall Jenner and Kylie Jenner. Caitlin also helped raise Chris kids from her marriage to the late Robert Kardashian, Courtney, 41, Kim, 40, Khloe Kardashian and Rob Kardashian. In the aftermath of the pair's divorce, distance grew between Caitlin and some of the famous family members, especially after the former athlete released her tell-all book in 2017. I mean, I talk to Caitlyn every once in a while, the KKW Beauty founder said during Thursday's episode. Chloe, 36, told her sister, I talk to Sophia very seldom and Kate probably every blue moon. It's just because we're busy, it's covered. There's no beef. The Revenge Body host added, I just feel like the whole dynamic has been through so much and it's taken mom a really long time to get to where she is now, emotionally. I don't know if she has any more to give or if mom can emotionally handle helping Kate. I don't know if she's ready for that conversation. Kim agreed, noting that Chris has definitely had her fair share of her feelings since the divorce. She has a hard time getting over things and it's completely understandable, she said. Eventually. The In the Kitchen with Chris Cookbook author came up with a few ideas for her ex, including the launch of a YouTube channel. Believe me, this is not an easy situation, she told cameras. But Kate really does want my advice. Even though I can't make things magically better with us, I'm just here to be supportive and I just want her to be happy. After the Secrets of My Life author posts her first vlog, Kim and Chloe celebrate with her via FaceTime. The Scheme CEO said she was proud of Chris for taking the high road and the producer felt the same way. I was really happy to offer Caitlin some advice and encouragement over something that she's trying to do, Chris said in a confessional. I know it's going to be really great.